Good evening, everyone. This is Maurice from the Triple M Mall of Railroad. Basically, this video is a showcasing of both my GTLE 3500 series turbines. One is the first release, which is number 27. And I believe number 30 is actually the third release of this model. Um, not particularly number 30, I, if I'm not mistaken, number 30 was also represented in um, in the first release. I wasn't too sure if it was the Museum Quality Series or the Rivet Counter, but number 30 was available at that time. And I couldn't get it, I mean, due to, I mean, of course, money is these models are quite expensive uh, so I said you know what hopefully they will come out with number 30 again and sure enough they did and I'm very happy they did so I basically you know I, I grabbed on you know I, I grabbed it when I had the chance and voila here we are and have to admit I'm living the dream I mean, I originally just wanted one turbine, and this was some time back, this is even before scale trains, I wanted to get a brass model of uh, number 30, and it, I just couldn't justify the price. You know, for a brass model, they wanted over $3,000. I think the cheapest I've seen... Um, uh, someone offered it for I believe $2,500 and this is without the lights this is without the coders you know so it was just too much money I said nah I said I might as well just you know hope and pray that somebody come out with plastic and sure enough scale trains came out with plastic they just knocked it out of the park and I actually seen a video that Scale Trans have released on how they build, you know, how they build these models and I mean, I have to give the people that actually build these things. It, it, it's very tedious work, um, time consuming and, you know, my hat's off to them because you, know, you have to have a lot of patience to build not just one of these but you have to build a lot of them and you know this particular locomotive has so many has thousands of parts and pieces um, you know carefully put together so you know they, it, I have to admit they had done an excellent job considering the time and the patience and the skill to actually put these models together um, number 30 you know the paint job is in, is excellent there's no problem with the paint um, actually number 30 since it's the third release actually has the version 5 lock sound Dakota now basically the models are you know they perform relatively the same 27 has version 4 um, just with a little tweak and I can get them to run pretty much the same I mean the version 5's run a little bit better than the version 4's they run a little bit more smoother um, you know you know, smoother than ver the version 4, even though you really can't, I mean, after I tweak it, you really can't tell the difference, they basically run exactly the same, but if you, you know, basically set them, you know, set the settings to default on both decoders, they actually run um, a little differently, but as here and there. Uh, so basically the dream is I actually got two of these jokers and I got two of these models I never expected to have two 
And even with the two, it still doesn't cost as much as a brass model or one brass unit. You know, I would have to get at least uh, three of these to even start getting into the ballpark of um, brass model prices. And looking at the brass model, it's not as accurate. I don't find it being as, um, not so much a detail, but in scale, it's not as accurate as the scale trains models. And... You know, so basically, you know, I'm going to go over what are the differences between road number 27 and road number 30. And there are some significant differences. Um, the lighting's not terribly great, but, you know, I'll try the best, i do the best I can. I'll try not to make this video too long. If you want to see a comprehensive review, I have done a review on number 27 um, about several years ago I mean, when the models were, when the model first came out. Um, actually, I did a review on 27. I also did a showcasing of um, 26, which is my uncle's um, tur um, turbine. So. You know, so it's a fair warning, it's a very long video, so the video is over an hour, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but if you want a comprehensive, that's the video to watch. Basically, number 30 has the same functions as 27. I mean, nothing has really changed. Um, the only thing that changes is the decoder, but all the functions are basically the same. It's to have the same lights, it's to have the same sounds, it's to have the same everything is basically the same you know when it comes to function um, just the motor control is just a little bit better um, than version 4 but not you know that you can really notice so okay and also the sound is exactly the same so they use the same speakers um, my presumption they use the same type of speakers I'm tempted to change the speakers for something maybe better than what they got now, um, but that may be a far future update for these models. I even thought about even changing the decoder for 27 to update it to version 5, but that doesn't really make any sense because they're, they're performing almost just about exactly the same, and I'm not going to run these in consist anyway, it doesn't make sense. I mean, it'll be interesting to see these and consist. You could probably pull like two, 200 plus cars with a consistent of, um, on a flat level, that is, um, with both of these locomotives. Um, actually, there is also a video with 26 on Uncle at uh, West Island actually pulling. It wasn't a hundred cars, but it was a lot of cars. I didn't count them, but it was uh, it was a significant amount of cars he was pulling, and it pulled it with ease. It with relative ease. So that's another video that's uh, in our archive, basically. You know, so you can actually check that out. Um, these engines never pulled anything. <laughs> Uh, never been on any other, and haven't been on a layout yet. Hasn't been out, hasn't been on my uncle's layout. Hasn't been at West Island. I would like to take these at West Island and run these. Um, I need to buy some rolling stock. That's the only wrong problem. I don't buy rolling stock. And it's kind of odd running new rolling stock with this. I mean, you could do kind of like a uh, make-believe excursion. Um, make this with a couple of um, uh, modern-day locomotives, you know, as a helper. I mean, that would be nice. I mean, get some either some uh, some SD70s, some ACEs, or maybe some GEs. Actually, this is a GE, so. 
if I'm not mistaken. So i uh, run some GEs with this. Um, that would be kind of cool. And and run a, a big, large consist with these. Maybe in the future. Who knows? Who knows? That may happen. All right, so let's do a comparison. Um, all right. Number 30. Basically, in the front is relatively the same. I mean, if you look at it, you know, they're the same. The, the A unit is the same except for, if you look here, this has what they call an I dynamic brake. All right in the rear whereas number 27 has what's called an H dynamic brake now though I don't know why that they changed it but you know I have an eye for number 30 but I guess it's for cost um, it's relatively smaller than um, the H I don't know if these are probably cooling vents or something like that so and yeah that's about basically it i mean the smokestack here was it's actually silver and this one's brown uh when it comes to the b unit b unit is significantly different on the top as you can see this has the ii dynamic brakes and this one also has the ii dynamic brakes but the what makes it significantly different as you can see is that the um, the air filtration system for the turbine is different as you can see here and here significantly different and also the um, if you look at the doors I know that you kind of see it but the doors are slightly different um, the vented doors here compared to uh, this one is um, there are some differences I mean this one has more actually um, ventilation or fins on the actual doors compared to number 30 and then last and least yeah, excuse the squeaky chair I got a bit old chair uh, the tender is different as well. This one is a, a 24,000 gallon, whereas this one, on number 27, is a 23,000 gallon um, um, tank, of, you know, a fuel tender. Excuse me. And this one has what they call the Buckeye um, trucks, and this one has the Commonwealth trucks. And you know, I mean, I don't remember if when they first modeled number thirty in the first release, um, they had the twenty-three gallon. 23,000 gallon um, tank um, fuel tank or fuel tender to be more exact uh, because actually in the pictures actually the recent pictures of number 30 when it was releasing it it did have the 23 gallon not the 24,000 um, gallon um, fuel tender which was, you know, which was kind of strange. Maybe they, you know, historically they changed it. I have no idea. Uh, because when I got the model, I thought they had made a mistake uh, putting in the wrong tender, but that is not the case. That, that is the correct tender uh, for number 30. Uh, so, let's see. I'm just going to run number 30. Um, let you see how it runs. Uh, number 30. 
I don't have to run 27 because it's actually the same. Exactly the same. Let me get this thing started. Okay. got to kind of do some gymnastics here. Okay, right now it's at 27. I'm going to change it to 30. Oops. I'll select 30. All right. And I'm going to turn on the lights. I'll make sure this thing. Actually, before you do that, you got to turn it on. See, it's a red light. Just hit this button. The stop button is green. So now there's power to the track. Still gotta get used to this. I haven't really um, messed around with this too much, but all right, got the lights on as you can see. All right, let's power this thing up. I'm just gonna run in the hustler mode. There's two modes. There's hustler mode, and then there's the turbine mode. I'm just gonna run in the hustler mode. The turbine is very loud. Turn on the lights, the marker lights. All right. Now there's generally three modes for these lights. There's the regular amber or, or white light, and there's also green and red. But you really, the camera phone doesn't capture the light for some reason. It doesn't capture the red or the green very well. So I'm just going to keep it at white. And we go in reverse, set this in reverse. Let's click this like that. And it's in reverse. So you can change direction by just clicking this over counterclockwise. I like that. Now I have this go in reverse. Let's hit the horn twice. And I notice the horn is different. Uh, I don't know if that's by accident. Uh, because it is different from number 27. Um, the model of the horn is exactly the same. So it made it, I mean, issue may have made a mistake or scale trains, I don't know. But, um,. Is that speed step one at 128 steps? And speed it up a little bit to get this thing along. At 15 speed steps. Very smooth. Also, it has the sound effects of it going over frogs, as you can hear. Um, there's actually sensors in the truck that senses the wheels going over the frogs. It's a nice touch.
final thoughts. Um, if you are still interested in this model, um, um, there are, I believe there are some um, online merchants that still actually have these models available. I'm not too sure scale trains still have this model available. They might. Um, not necessarily number 30, but they do have other prototypes. Now, if I have money to kill, I will get one of the first prototypes, and that is the ones, um, I believe, one, roll number one through, I believe, 14 or 15. Um, they, the fuel tank is significantly different in the A unit, and the air filter for the B units are quite different. And, but other than that, I'm very happy with these two models. I think, I mean, I believe two is actually enough. <laughs> you know, I'm not rich. So, I mean, I'm just blessed to actually have these models. I mean, I always wanted the turbines and, you know, scale trains made a dream come true with, with actually pulling off these models. Actually, um, actually, um. Uh, I can't really think right now. I'm pretty tired. It's not like I'm always tired, but um, offering these models, that's what I want to say. Uh, so that's it. You know, I'm almost 25 minutes in. If you want a comprehensive video of it running or it, um, me explaining the models in depth, you know, please see my videos, my past videos on this, um, on this wonderful model or models. So everyone, uh, stay safe out there. Be careful. Stay protected. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.